We have a new firmware update for the LG C1 OLED. I am going to install it right now. I'm gonna test it and by the time you watch this video, I'm going to pin a comment telling you if I see anything wrong with it, okay? Also, I'm going to ask for your feedback. If you already install it and you see any difference whatsoever, let me know. I am going to you know, test if you see any issues. If you have any problems, just ask me. I will do my best to help you, but let's understand that it is almost impossible for us to notice a brightness difference, okay? Unless you have an instrument and you can measure. There is no way you restart your TV and you can notice, oh, it is now brighter. No way, okay? The only way we can see a brightness difference is side by side or before and after very fast. I mean, you see a picture before, after in real time, then you can notice, okay, it is brighter now. Because some people always say, oh, I see that it's now brighter, or, or it is now dimmer, it's dimming more. I don't believe so, okay, I don't believe so. It might happen, but you need to have an instrument and a number to tell for sure if that's the case. So here's the thing, I don't have a color emitter, but... I am always testing the TV, <laughs> changing settings, and I use a, a mobile app that is called Lux Light Meter app, that it is not accurate. It depends on how far away you are from the screen, but it gives me a range of numbers that I am familiar with. So if there is a significant enough brightness difference, I will be able to tell that. Okay, it is now brighter. I cannot tell you exactly how many nits it is. I, give, I can give you an approximation, but I should be able to tell if there is any significant changes on the picture quality, and I will let you know. That is not to be expected, okay? So what they are doing with this firmware updates is probably just um, software, okay? The internal apps, something that is not, um, you know, it's just something that, I don't use the internal app, so it's, it's not something really relevant or important, uh, but let me know if you are using the internal apps, if you see any any changes, any differences um, that I don't, I am not going to be able to see because I just don't uh, use it. Also, you know, when I do this firmware update videos, there's always someone telling me that, oh, now my audio system is messed up. My eARC is like a handshake issue, it's not working right or something like that. I don't know how to fix that. I don't understand why that would happen. And it's just so specific with your audio system and there are so many you know, kinds of audio systems and setups that I have no way to help you with that. No way. But what I try to do on these videos is if I don't know how to help you, I will do my best. If I don't know how to help you, I will pin the comment for a while and sometimes people get some answers. The other thing is like on the last uh, firmware update, someone told me that, oh, after the firmware update, my TV is broken, okay? And it was not someone trolling, like he even recorded a video showing that he had a green line on the screen. And listen, I cannot tell you no way. There's no way the firmware update is going to do that. I don't see how. Okay, I don't see how a firmware update can basically break your TV and you, now you have a suddenly you have a green line on the screen. I hope that this person was not lying. So I'm trying to see how would that happen. And it, it has to be a coincidence. Okay, it has to be a coincidence. I don't see so that's why I didn't like pin that comment or anything like that because I don't want to scare people thinking, oh, this firmware update is going to break your TV because it shouldn't, okay? It shouldn't. Uh, so I'm sorry about that uh, incident for that person. I just don't really know what to tell you. But yeah, I believe you. It might happen, but it, it might just be a coincidence after the firmware update that happened. Um, However, if you want to roll back the firmware, it is possible to do uh, using the color control app. I've never done it myself, 
and if I don't do it then I'm not going to recommend it uh, I don't want to play around with a firmware update and then you know messed up my my TV okay so yeah I'm gonna test everything I'm gonna pin a comment telling you if I see anything wrong with it uh, I am not expecting to see any picture quality changes okay we shouldn't expect any picture quality changes but the problem is that it has happened before with other brands like Samsung so that's, I think that's why people are um, I'm not gonna say afraid yeah some people are afraid but people are cautious about firmware updates because we have recent uh, history of TVs being messed up with a firmware update so far LG has been pretty good so the software update um, has completed I'm going to uh, restart the TV I'll turn it off so so far LG has been pretty good with the firmware updates uh, I haven't seen any issues um, but we never know <laughs> we never know um, I'm restarting the TV right now so now you see the web OS loading it's gonna take a moment and also it happens after you, um, you know, restart the TV after the firmware update it might be slow the you know the menus might be slow that's okay you just give it a time or maybe re uh, reset the TV one more time it is normal that's not an issue that, oh now the TV is messed up because of that so yeah I just wanted to set some uh, expectations of what I can do is make sure that I don't see any huge problems okay but I don't have the instruments to maybe tell the difference that is like I mean like a very small difference like oh it is now five nits dimmer or brighter I cannot tell you that because I don't have an instrument with that level of precision to tell you it shouldn't happen anyway okay which at this point we shouldn't see any picture quality differences anyway so I will do my best to test it make sure everything is right um, I will answer any questions you have try my best to help you um, very important on these videos is the feedback from the community um, so if you are on the fence if you want to make sure nothing is wrong come back to this video after you see like a hundred comments and then you see okay nobody's having an issue or maybe just a minor thing with the audio or something like that that might not affect me and then you do the update but if you ask me hey is it you know 100 percent you know safe or what I can tell you is I don't see any problems if that's the case if I see a problem I'm gonna have it on the thumbnail stop don't update okay but if I don't have that on the thumbnail is that I don't see any any issues so yeah let me know your thoughts and opinions if you have any questions and yeah I have a lot of <laughs> videos coming this is the first video after I move to my new place so yeah I will cover armor core and a lot more so let me know your thoughts and opinions and if you have any questions